Okay, giving you a quick garden update, if you can see. These are the volunteers. You can see my shadow, sorry about that. These are the volunteers that I had. Found out that that is a cantaloupe. And then of course all these tomatoes, like cherry tomatoes like crazy, and they're, it's like five or six plants, and they're really getting choked out. But you can see lots of tomatoes. Um, it's setting fruit everywhere. Again, a cantaloupe. I'm kind of concerned because this is a lot of plants growing out of a small area, and I'm concerned that they're choking each other out. And behind there, that is a butternut squash. You can see the fruit, but because this is so hot in Southern California, the gravel is like burning the fruit. So it's really important that they stay covered or the squash. But this butternut squash is putting out so many babies, like in sh a short period of time. I mean, this thing just like grew like in a week, you know, and it's like bigger than the size of my hand. Yeah, and there's tons of little butternuts everywhere. This bed that you're looking at that's empty had peppers in it and the seedlings that got dried out. So you don't really see anything except a couple of seedlings from beets that I had growing in before that went to seed. China, show me what's in here. No? Okay, never mind. Megan's out here with me. All right, now this is, I think I'm over fertilizing because this is supposed to be a cherry tomato. Oh my gosh, I see tomatoes right in there. It's like the first time I've seen them. And there's no way that could be a cherry tomato. That thing is like huge. Maybe it was mislabeled. But I see little flowers set out on it and I have been seeing bees in the garden. So I'm hopeful things will happen. Now this is a lemon cucumber. I've never even grown them, but they were slow to start. But there are, gosh, see, look at I messed up. See this, this is supposed to be, as you're looking up around, it's a frame for, um, for a, uh, tr what is it? The, the netting, the nylon netting to let this grow up. But, but look it, so I didn't get it on soon enough and now I've got a big tangle. But you can see one here. I have no idea when they're ready to harvest. So like this guy in here, oh, I don't know if you can see him. He looks like he's, he was like my first one and he's so dark, I wonder if he's ready. But look at, there's little babies everywhere. Huh, sweetheart? She's, I don't know, babe. She's just laying where you're at. And this is like a tomatillo that's getting choked out. But there are some flowers, but it has yet to set any fruit. And then, it's honestly, it's choking out all of these little tomato plants. I don't know. This was in the tomato seedling stuff. That does not look like... Oh, I'm sorry. That does not look like a tomato. But I have tons of tomato plants in here. And honestly, I'm getting kind of worried about how crowded that bed is. It just doesn't look too good. Then here's another bed of tomatoes that you can see and then the far bed is more cucumber and again I set up this trellis and I just need to get the nylon netting put on so I can train all those cucumbers to grow and then these are tomatoes and um, yeah oh and it's already flowering so I need to hurry on that and let's see, okay, so you saw the volunteers that grew over here. And I find it very funny that the volunteers seem to grow better than the plants that I baby. It's interesting. Okay, more volunteers. I still don't know what this is. I'm wondering if it's pumpkin, not sure. This is yellow squash, and it almost died yesterday. It was so hot, it's like over 100 degrees. And he's not looking too good. He was really wilted. and. We're trying to bring them back, but I did get one yellow squash off of them and it was so sweet, so good. Okay, here's another bed. We have, what is this? We've got all these little guys. Oh, sorry, you see my shadow. I'm gonna stand here. Okay, here's what we've got. This is 
patty pan, patty pan, and then zucchini, all the back row. Then this is pumpkin, I think spaghetti squash, and then butternut squash, and then watermelon. And my hopes is that they grow over the edge. My little grapevine. Now, look at this. Again, more volunteers. A tomato, and then it looks like a watermelon, and maybe a cantaloupe. And it's so funny how they just grow. It looks like the cantaloupe's doing really good. It's all in this front row. It's kind of being shaded by the the corn. The, all this corn, two rows of corn, and then we have watermelon all in this back row behind, if you can see, growing. And I actually, China, I did find a little watermelon starting to grow, but got this huge tangle. I started to grow. This is my first time trying to get plants to grow up a trellis. Oh, I see it. You see this little guy right there? I'm kind of nervous about growing watermelon on a, on a vertical support, so we'll see how that goes. And then, oh, I, met, I passed up my poor berries. Uh, they're getting scorched. There's like a blackberry, a, a raspberry, and a boysenberry. And then that's my good old compost pile. And there's my daughter and my dog. And then this is a full bed of corn. So this is my July something update. You can see my poor trees. It's pretty sad. They really need to go in the ground. But I'm not going to do it right now while they're setting fruit. But they've got little figs you can see growing. That's a plum that, again, I don't know if anything's ever going to happen to it. Make sure you get good trees, that's all I'm saying. And this is a kiwi that's dying, and I don't think it can handle the heat out here. And again, these are, oh, you see my shadow, sorry. These are strawberries that are not doing too good because I had to transplant. Anyways, let me show you some more stuff. Okay, this is my front yard, and you can see I have... Uh, patty pans and zucchinis and some of just the leftover seedlings that I had started of watermelon and spaghetti squash but that's really all that's up here and it's growing really good I was kind of concerned because this area stays shaded in the morning um, and only gets afternoon sun so but I want to show you because it's finally starting to set some fruit and you can see those little patty pans growing and that's another one and I have my first zucchini growing if I can peek in here you probably can't oh yeah you can see it it's right here so that's my first zucchini of the season and that's what I've got going on I have so much more that I want to do that's regular basil purple basil and cinnamon basil and that's just a whole mess of mint just stuff basil I need to really take care of this bed that's my next project is to get this taken care of but I have certain things in it like of course there's basil that's some chamomile that's really not doing so great right now but um anyway and then this is oh you can see bees are all over it this is um what is this oregano that's gone to seed and then you can see my peppers, the Anaheim chilies that are growing like perennials here. Um, I didn't even plant these. These were here last year. And they're doing excellent. And there you can see there's more. I mean, there's like loaded with peppers. And then as a matter of fact, I broke open one of these peppers from last year. And now I have all these little seedlings that sprouted up this year. And that's some geranium. And if you're wondering, this is garlic actually down underneath. So I have garlic that's already finished doing its growing. So, and that's rosemary. But anyway, that is my update in my garden.